I'm gonna be surviving 100 Minecraft days in nothing but this desert temple. We're suspended high in the air on a 30 by 30 space, and if we fall off, it's game over. Our three goals are to get full netherite gear, build a maxed six beacon pyramid, and upgrade our small temple into an epic desert pyramid. Can we do it all? Day one starts now. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is just, just a temple. We are on top of the temple. Sticks? A tree. This is gonna determine our entire run. Give me the things I need. You see, the wood is not what I'm concerned about, because now this thing's about to start dropping saplings, and I really can't afford to lose one. Okay, okay, that's good. <gasps> we live to see another day. Let's move this away from the edge. Place that bad boy right there. <gasps> yes! That's gonna make me feel a whole lot more comfortable. And that's gonna be it. The real question. Build a crafting table and one wooden pick. Okay, it's still there. That's amazing. How do I get down? Maybe, okay. You know what? That's not bad. We need to take this out. Can't forget the TNT. I can't say what it's for yet, but this is gonna be very useful down the road. So make sure to watch all the way through. Now truly the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's go with this one. That's pretty good. Two golden apples, rotten flesh is food, bone is bone meal, and I don't hate spider eyes. May as well grab this chest. Number two has iron, some string. <gasps> That's a big fat dub for us starting things out right now. Lays it three diamonds and some more iron. Now let's get ourselves out of this death pit and we can reassess what our next play is. Oh, sun's going down quick. What? We're gonna make an iron pick. This is some on the fly thinking. We need cobblestone or oh, we're going to die. Oh, this is bad. The reason this is bad is mobs are about to start spawning. A furnace, put that down. Oh no, I forgot to leave a log. That is really bad, guys. I need a weapon. Okay, there's actually nothing up top, but I definitely hear a z uh. Hi there, how's it going? Zombies are fine. I should probably patch that up. I actually don't hear any more mobs. Is it just bright enough that we're, we're chilling? While we wait for morning, should probably get some armor. As for the diamonds, It'd be so perfect to go with a diamond pick, even a sword, but realistically, I don't know the next time we're gonna get diamonds. And enchantments are far more important. So let's hold off on these, make some stone tools, and let's just try to stay alive. Oh my God, wait, I have bone meal, please. What about this one? Yes, I won't make the same mistake again. Yes, no more saplings, another apple. But most importantly, we got charcoal means torches, which means safety. And we have survived the first day. I'm gonna build a shield and let's see what we're dealing with. I don't hear any mobs, but that is a creeper. Okay, uh, no, 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 nope, don't blow up my home. Please don't blow up my home. We'll fight them on the rooftops. There it is. This area is clear, torch it up. Yeah, that checks out. Ow! Oh, he's dead. Definitely need torches down here. This is mighty scary. Oh, no. Yes, I am victorious. How do I get food? Yes, we have oak saplings. Oh, that's big. It'll help for now. Sure, these trees are great, but apple spawn rates are very low. Every leaf is a one in 200 chance. So for now, we're gonna have to survive on rotten flesh. By the way, you should really subscribe to my channel. We only post like one video a month and for that reason, no one ever subscribed, but it would mean a lot if you would because I like to see the number go up. In the meantime, I'm gonna get to work. This is definitely gonna be our main base, but it is very, very tight. Grab the stone pick and we'll do our best to get clearing. And hopefully tonight we won't have any mob spawns. So that's this cleared and also stripped of any charm it once had. I'm gonna go ahead and set up two double chests and then I need to go back here for more cobblestone. And now we can at least have some furnaces. So this is actually not the first time I've lived in a desert temple. We did it a long time ago. There was one very big mistake I made, is that I only lived on this as a single floor and it's just gonna get cramped. So survival is a priority, but like I can't even really live right now. And so that means clearing out a floor directly underneath. Okay, we've made it. That's a nice big beautiful room. Now it's treating time. Beautiful. Oh, it's also lunchtime. We are a very hungry Steve. Yeah, that's tough. 
Now we wait for apples. Dang, okay, we actually got no apples. Why are you doing this? Gonna need more dirt, more saplings, and we really just gotta hope for the best. Now with that, we still gotta be thinking about our food issue. And to do that, we must go deeper. I really don't know where we're going. I don't know what to expect from this. Iron is certainly not the worst thing, but we can't eat that. Well, that is water. Big water cave. Water that is behaving very suspiciously. There's coal, still not food. We can make a bucket and that's water. Incredible. And let's continue on. Actually dirt may be useful. I hear zombies. Zombies can drop carrots. Oh yeah, we got a cave. <gasps> oh, we have a dungeon. That's food right there. Might not be the tastiest, but rotten flesh will keep us alive. Now oh, the real question, more iron, more food and Ooh. Our game has just been saved. That is massive. We got bread? Guys, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, where do we even do this? It's gotta be on the roof, right? And there it is. It's that easy. A celebratory snack is in order. I'm gonna go ahead, just do all these trees. Cause even if we don't necessarily need the apples, well, I do love me some wood. So there, jungle is growing appropriately. Oh, that is so rude. I was having so much fun. Thankfully, it's just one. No problem at all. As I was about to say, let's just go straight for the bone meal. Get the melon game on lock. Gonna dump off some of my treasures. And I'm gonna spend the night working on a staircase. Don't know if I love that, but I do love the idea of keeping this little three by three. It's just uh, very inefficient. This is easier to walk down, but it, uh, it doesn't look that good. The lower this gets though, the cooler it looks. That's actually pretty cool. I love the way it just goes into this room. There is so much potential in this. Now we've got some melons, grab a few seeds, and that should be enough to live off of. What a day. Also, I saw that, you guys saw that. Oh. Oh my God, this dude sells melon seeds too. That would have also been so clutch. Can't buy anything from him yet anyway. And this guy can chill here for now. So we've got food, we've got tools. This is off to a great start. We can start offloading, take these things down here. And look at that. I can just take a nice big snack, heal up. It's crazy, absolutely insane. And we have so much wood. I don't know why these are all going so high, but I love it. We're really doing this in the tree, huh? Not bad at all. We use some of this wood to continue with our chests. And that's a pretty nice storage room with still a lot more potential. I just had a big realization. To get villagers, we need to convert zombie villagers. The ingredients for that are golden apples, along with a spider eye, brown mushrooms, which can be found in the nether, and sugar cane, which obviously did not spawn on our temple. The only way to get it is through this guy right here. And he currently does not have it. And I think that means we need to get rid of this guy if we want another one to spawn. Let's say we just place some water there. Let's say he decides, you know, he wants to go uh, for a little boat ride. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Gee, that, oh, that's tough. These guys can stay. There's about a 10% chance. Yeah, I'm sure we'll, we'll get it by the end of the run. For now, we're gonna have to upgrade the old fashioned way. It's time we go mining. Smartest play would be to just keep on going down. Currently, Y15. Gotta get below zero if we wanna find diamonds. Y minus two? I think we're just gonna keep on heading down. I uh, hear some more mobs. I should probably be suiting up here. There we go, that feels better. A bit of gold. Uh, let's see what we're dealing with. I think we're below it. Oh, hi there. So this is where all the mobs are spawning. I need that string. I can't grab the string. String! Oh, I see diamonds! Oh, I'm just here for the diamonds. It's a whole world down here. Oh, they're guarding more diamonds. Easy. What about you, pal? How about a little vitamin D? Axes work too. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we got diamonds. We got a diamond, one singular diamond, okay. But ladies and gentlemen, we got a nice spicy little vein here. Nine diamonds in total? We gotta head on back up, drop some things off. And the question is now, what do we do with our diamonds? Gotta save two for the enchanting table. We could do leggings, but there's something we really, 
need. And that's Obsidian. We are, in fact, gonna do the pick. Well, with four diamonds left, what do you do? Like, boots? Now, let's hold off on that. We'll head back on down. Realistically, we should probably just start mining. I'm just gonna take a random section, and we will see what we come up with. That's gonna be some iron. Is just gonna go towards our pick fund. Hey, let's go! Oh, I just really hope this is a decent sized vein and it's not looking good. Oh no. Okay, two. Oh no. Oh, yes! I'll take three. Ooh, and a little bit of iron too. And as the sun comes up, I gotta say, that's not a bad session. I think what we'll do is. Give one space in between and basically mine under where their wall was. Mining over what is basically a chunk. For what it's worth, it's not just a chunk, it's like four chunks. But regardless, it's a whole lot different from regular strip mining. Well, not looking good so far. Lapis, that's pretty hype. Try one more section overnight and then hope for the best. Bit of redstone. Oh, we got iron. May not be a lot, but we got iron. And so that is gonna be a, another pretty big L. I'm gonna try something here. Take a little peek. Nothing though. We can do this for every side. But I'm not really seeing much. Oh, I see lava. Anyway, it's all good. Got a bit of iron. We do have seven diamonds, which makes a pair of leggings, which feels pretty good to me. We'll get chopping. Incredible. I think we should consider going to the nether. We've got all the gear to, to be alive and stuff, but there's a few key items that could take this game further. I hear lava. Oh, but it wouldn't be in this, right? It would be in the stone. Ah, there we go. Oh, my God, that's cool. Oh, I, I feel bad to ruin this. I am gonna do it this way because I can. There we go. So that'll be the four we need for our enchanting table. It would probably be responsible to do it this way. I think that'll be a fine nether portal spot for now. Just need to activate it. 50% of the time, this works every time. Hey! All right, we'll go in. Check it out and leave. Oh, that's a nice spot. Oh my God. Waste was exactly what we wanted. Because first and foremost, we're here for gold. Now, with this gold, there's a very specific trade we're looking for. Oh, nice. Leather's good. But what we're looking for is actually a book. Any book will do. Oh, fire potion. Okay, well, first attempt is gonna come up short. Let's try again. Well, well, well. I'm down for a little baseball. Easy, and I'll take what's mine. Well, there goes the pick. And on that same note, we have mushrooms. Whoa! Oh, uh, oh. Uh, I let that get a little out of hand. I won't lie. I'm just gonna sit here for a sec, eat my apples. Should probably just have eaten a golden apple, but I'm stupid. Okay, we're alive. Grab some ingots. Our dude is gone. All right, there's our guy. All we can do now is hope for the best. There you go, buddy. I'm just gonna keep mining while we wait. Oh, yeah, that's it right there. One enchanted book. Now the real question, is this even gonna work? We take cobblestone, turn it into slabs, and then I think, yes, let's go. We take our two diamonds, and what? An impromptu enchanting table that is. So we can grab a few enchantments. Now they're falling. Overall, not bad. <laughs> Take I'm breaking on the pick. Sharpness. Perhaps some new tools are in order. And with our newly improved axe, we can get chopping at a slightly more efficient rate. So I think from here we should go back to our mine. I was gonna say, we should check this area out. <laughs> I'm out here playing a pretty dangerous game, I won't lie, but worthwhile? Why is it skeletons? But that's not what we were here for. We're actually looking for a witch. Witches have a chance to drop sugar, and sugar would help us to convert a zombie villager. I think I might continue on down. I hear more cave. Oh yeah, looking real safe. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my god, I do have blast protection, but oh my god. Yeah, honestly, just do your thing. Shield may be busted. Absolutely terrifying. Gold, the lava. Oh, wow, 
that's really lucky. Looking like a six. I actually have a strategy here. Gonna take the long trek back up. Recall there being this insane spot of coal. We're just gonna break this for the XP. We're trying to get a fortune pick. So gold picks are terrible, but they have one important feature. They actually take enchantments very well. And sometimes you can get better enchantments. Look, we got efficiency two. Just need a few more levels. To do that, we can simply mine quartz. Level 19 should be enough. Uh, we'll see what we can do here. Okay, fortune one. Iron pick has efficiency two. So this is a case where the gold is gonna help us out. We can head on back down. Oh my God. I'm so dumb. You can't mine diamonds with a gold pickaxe. That one is my bad. Still gonna be useful. Yeah, no, never mind, guys. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> Let's keep on heading down. And that's bedrock. Yeah, we've hit the bottom of the map. I'm just gonna take a little run through this, make sure I'm not missing any extra stuff. Over here, we have not much else. But you know what? That's okay. New plan, gonna try and clear out an entire floor. We gotta start forcing some spawns here if we're gonna get what we need to survive. Oh, oh, this is down there. Okay, never mind. Let's just clear this floor. Right, so this is gonna be the big spooky room. We're basically just gonna make this completely dark. A lot of stuff should spawn in there. I don't understand what these squares are. Is it because there's a torch on the other side of this? Dude, what is going on? What if, uh, okay. Let's make sure, beautiful. We'll close that up. And now we just gotta wait for mobs to spawn. In the meantime, I'm getting real tired of hopping up these steps. Got some options. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, looking hot. And so I'm gonna say that this has worked. Got a little trick up the sleeve. That was not supposed to happen. And that's why we have lava. Oh God. Oh, this is a nightmare. This is awful. Well, so much for that plan. I just realized something. This is a desert biome. And because of that, for the most part, you get husks not zombies. And so that's the reason these spawns have been so different, which means we've been going at this the wrong way. We need to get sand? I'm gonna go ahead and try another one of these. So I'm gonna do a bit of rock busting. Sure. Go ahead and close it off and uh, just gonna pray for a witch or a zombie villager. There's a llama. Oh, hey pal, you got something for me? Oh, this is crazy. Like this is seriously hard. I just realized even if he had sugar cane, we wouldn't be able to buy it because we don't have sugar to get a villager to get emeralds. And there's actually only one way we can get sugar. So let's see, if we've got anything going on in here. Yeah. Too close. Well, I'm gonna head back on down and we're just gonna have to resume this insane strategy, which is called hoping for a miracle. Anyway, there's still a ton of stuff we can do. We gotta keep up the mining. Actually, I need another pick. Oh, well, that was quick. Definitely a little nervous from what happened last time. I could just light him on fire, something like that. Yeah, oh, he's gonna heal. Gosh, it's so close yet so far away. Oh no, gotta clear the creepers. Uh, poison, just eat an apple. You can't die from poison. Well, that's sad. Glowstone, bottles, and broken dreams. That'll be the last switch we see for a while, I'm sure. But anyway, it's uh, it worked, kind of. Gonna make another pick. Hey, and we'll get back to the mining grind. So want to know how much stuff we found from this entire mining session? We got this gold right here and a little bit of redstone. That's tough, but sometimes it do be like that. I hear some zombies, which is at least just encouraging because where there's zombies, there are zombie villagers. Oh, 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 that's not so good. I have a bow? I have a bow, okay. Lava, <laughs> do your thing. I will eat watermelon. It's setting up lava right here. This is gonna be tough. On the bright side, long wait. Oh, I, I, I have so much string, Never mind. Forgot about those piglin trades. Ladies and gentlemen, after 17 consecutive nights, I think my man Steve has earned it one beautiful sleep. And now phantoms won't spawn. I've actually got a plan for up here though. It's simply to remove all the torches. I actually want stuff to spawn up here. Cause you know how in like a regular desert, it's always like tons of mobs spawning on the overworld. This is our overworld. 
So we should at least try for something tonight. And also enchant a bow. And I really need to find some iron. Because the tool game is looking weak. We're gonna try a pretty top-heavy mine. Hey! So I don't even think I could use fortune on this. But a bit of iron is very welcome. We're gonna try efficiency two. And I think we just gotta get back to it. This is Minecraft. The one where he actually mines. <gasps> Oh my god, look at that. A bit more iron. So, can a gold pick even mine gold? No. Why am I so stupid? So that was relatively productive. We'll do another day. This time, something with diamonds. It actually yielded absolutely nothing. Oh, man. All right, boys, it's going to be a tough night. Two days later. <gasps> Oh, thank God. That's five big ones. Clearly things haven't been good. <laughs> At least I feel like I can return a success now. Okay, that's 11 diamonds. I think we gotta go chest plate. Protection one. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Now, it would seem as though my boat trap has worked. Unfortunately, still no sugar cane. <laughs> also, nothing has spawned up here. Sorry, buddy. You're going for a ride. Anyway, this whole boat trap system is great. And hopefully it continues to serve us. Now, I haven't heard anything too significant for mob spawns. And it sounds like that's still the case. Really just skeletons and spiders. But I'm wondering if maybe we should try to do something with this. Oh. Oh, that was quick. Wasn't ready for that. Leave that on for now. So first thing we're going to do is patch this up. So now this looks a little more dungeon-y. Next thing we need to do is clear this floor. I think two should be enough. Yeah, there we go. So all paths lead to right here. Now, in a lot of playthroughs, you'd have some crazy fancy transporter system. We take the zombies from spawning here, send them there, loop them up and around and drop them, I don't know, somewhere. But because we're playing on a chunk, we might get put at a huge advantage. So this can push down to here. And then I think we just have to mine down 22 blocks. Okay, so that takes us down 20. And if I go any further, we're gonna get to that very, very dangerous spot. But this should yield zombies. So I think that should be it. Hit the torch and there it is. Zombies are gonna fall into there. Yeah, look at that. Just gotta patch this up a little bit. Maybe if we close this off. Not bad at all. There won't be a ton spawning at the very moment. That's because we've got like this absolute monstrosity going on in here. Oh, that's a witch. Oh no. Like that's very good, but so dangerous. I don't really know what we're gonna do here because I think everything's probably just gonna blow up. Yeah. Yeah, there it goes. Ah! Oh, oh, it's actually chasing. That's good until it poisons us. Okay, quick, quick, quick kill, quick kill. Nothing. No. <laughs> I need to patch myself into a hole. Don't really want to use an apple, so we're just going to have to sit here and this is terrible. Don't mind me. Just chill it on half a heart. Okay, there we go. What is going on? Torch. <gasps> you killed the bat. Oh, well, on the bright side. We got a, a disc. I'm gonna kill off these spiders. We'll leave this torched up. Oh, what? Okay, getting some glow ink sacks. Not really what I was looking for. There's the zombies. It's, it seems to be working, but perhaps by being removed, it might be that we're stopping zombies from actually spawning. Anyway, even at this rate, faster than anything else we've got. Yay. Well, well, well. <gasps> That's hot. That's real hot. Finally, something's going right. Can't buy this yet, but still. Now tonight I wanna work on our building a bit more. You know, just clean this up a bit. And so next we're gonna clear out the one directly below it too. All right, there we have it. You know, this is where I'd put my villagers, if I had them. Now I've got one more thing to try. This is more setting up a potential iron farm, but you can see where this chunk intersects. We wanna be taking advantage of this chunk right here. So this is all this needs to be for now. We'll come back to this too once we have villagers. Now, we're gonna switch gears here. We're gonna head back to the nether. We're grabbing gold, but that's not the main reason we're here. You see, this is what we're after. Hi there. You know what? We may as well grab some blaze rods. All right, not bad. Certainly not the main event, however. We're looking for the loot part of a nether fortress. Oh, there it is. All right, what have we got here? Gold, more gold, diamond, iron, horse stuff, diamonds, 
iron. And I think that's everything. Ironically, a pretty decent haul. And we'll get a little trading on the go. All right, so that's gonna be it from my guy down here. Oh, soul speed. Soul speed again. That's it, huh? Okay, nothing crazy from this guy. Over here, a lot of iron. Another soul speed. Dang, that's actually a lot of iron. Not bad. Now that I've got some pearls, we're gonna actually continue on. We've got a bastion remnants and another nether fortress. We'll pearl to this one. What a snipe. Bro, I don't even have a sword. What am I doing? Hello. Yeah, so this is what we're here for. Need to take as minimal damage as possible because we're very low on food. More diamonds. It was already worth it. More gold. Diamonds. <laughs> Look at this. More gold. Iron. And diamonds. Let's go. So I'll pick up some mushrooms. Because I'm just not sure if we have enough to clear this. Regardless, we are going to try. Oh. Well, that's why we give ourselves fire protection. Thank you. And thank you. This must be the spot. We're very low on food. What do we think? Okay, so we're gonna pearl down. There they are. There's just two of them, wow. Oh my God, you guys should guard this better. Bro, this is like half a beacon. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Bro, gentlemen, thank you and goodbye. Now I just need to make it back with zero food. This is the path we came from, except last time I ended world to here. As long as you got netherite and a dream, anything's possible. And look at that. Our prayers have been answered. Mushroom soup. Should be no problem getting home now. No problem. <laughs> uh, I said no problem. Okay, one more thing. Can't say no to easy wood. What a trip. So we've got 20 blocks of gold. That's pretty sick. And I have 25 diamonds. Blast protection three is pretty sick. The biggest deal of all. Ready for this. We now have one bookshelf. Go ahead, make boots and a helmet. Level five. Oh, that's tough. We're level 30. Really is sad we can't take advantage of this. Oh, but see, there's level nine. Gonna make a new pick. Big efficiency two. Protection one. Okay. Lastly, it is time. The sharpness one diamond sword. And with that, we still have 11 diamonds. Now, are you guys ready for a sick idea? This really just isn't working. That's okay, because we're gonna make a much more necessary mob grinder. Yeah, you hear this mess? See, we're gonna turn this into a mob grinder. Right, see what we're doing here? Probably looks familiar. For this, we are gonna need a lot of wood. Just need tons of trap doors. So because we've built down through this, <laughs> this build is gonna get real interesting. Water goes like this. You know the design. So basically, mobs think they can walk over this. They fall through. Water carries them to here, where they then fall down into. This has kind of already been built out for us. Oops, that's not what I was trying to do, son. Where are you at, son? So that's 15. And that takes us to 22 blocks. Basically, if anything falls from 22, it's gonna be at about half a heart. So it just makes easy killing for us. We make some slabs. And that's actually pretty great as is. Oh, dude, all this time, we're just missing diamonds. Oh, not bad. We don't really need these diamonds. So I think I'll wait till we have fortune. So that looks good to me. There's just one last thing we need to try. And so we have a few different options to try to fix this issue. Glass and buttons. Apparently spiders can't walk on either of these things. Normally they clog up mob grinders. So I'm hoping that'll help. Apparently spiders can't climb glass either. And lastly, we just want this to be super dark. Patch it in. There we go. Oh, that's not so good. Oh my God, look at that. Wow. So I need chests, there we go. Now check this out. We're gonna replace this like that. And so now, theoretically, things, yeah. I've actually been getting lots of zombies. Oh, was that a bottle? It's clearly still got a lot of spiders. They seem to be able to get up. We'll be back. Let's see how much wool I can get. 18 white carpet. We're gonna have to make some slabs. So the plan was covering this in with carpet should prevent spiders from spawning, but we clearly don't have enough for that. So instead we're gonna need something like this and then we gotta break out another floor. I think we'll just try half and we'll see what happens. Oh, hey. 
Whoa! Man, it's about time. Should I just get this dude in a boat? Okay, let's take out the creepers. Oh, one more. Nice. And sir, hello! Wanna just get in this boat for me? I think he could still burn. We go quick. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you stay in here. I think it might also make sense to torch this place up so no mob spawn. Oh wait, all the spawning goes towards this. We'll see what starts happening. Okay, so it's not bad. It's also not insane. Tons of zombies. Still getting spiders. I should also remind you, the whole reason we're doing this is to get witches for sugar or zombie villagers. I think the issue we're facing now is, well, you reduce half the spawn points, you get half the spawns. So I have an interesting idea. It's gonna involve gold and I'm really scared it's gonna end up just incredibly, incredibly stupid. Gold, as we know, takes enchantments better. All right, and if we can get a looting sword, maybe the next time a witch spawns, this, uh, this will increase the odds of us getting a sugar drop. It's working a little better now. Regardless, this is definitely gonna be a grind. So that looks like quite a few lats. We went all night and still no witch. What is that? It's gotta be a villager, right? It is! I should make a boat. Gotta use my axe here. Yeah, that is definitely a zombie villager. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, easy. This is not so easy, because my man is probably hurting. Oh, that's a witch! Oh! There it is. Yes! Oh my god! We got sugar! How was that timed so perfectly? Need to move this boat. Let's go! So now the question. What is our man over here saying? Whoa! Oh no! This is a rescue mission. Nice! Now the next question I have, can I just dig this guy straight down? Closing that for business. So now, get a brewing stand. We make a fermented spider eye. Pop the water in there, eye up top. Lastly, gunpowder will turn this into a splash potion. And now we wait. There it is. I got another witch. Glowstone, we were very lucky. Now we just need to get them up to our main base. I had put these here, perhaps. Oh, this is gonna be really slow. Come on, guys, you got this. There we go. So, this is gonna be an iron farm, and this is going to be a villager home. And there's a home. You know, we've come very far without villagers, but there's a few key things we would never get without them. Things are about to get real. So first two things we need is a composter and a fletching table. With the fletcher, we can turn our wood into sticks and then we can sell those sticks to finally acquire emeralds. The first thing we need emeralds for is actually bread. Giving our villagers bread will make them breed. We've got enough wool for four more beds. So that should make for a pretty good starter village. We do want to slap this up. That'll be our first new villager. Now the goal is to make it so that these guys spawn an iron golem up here. Theoretically, shouldn't be a problem. We just need water. Also, while I'm up here, I'll buy a spruce sapling. I'll buy some sugar cane. That is so hot. Pop those there. So this is gonna be a design you've seen before. We put a hopper in the middle. Water in four corners. Next, we need lava. So we pop that there. And then the question is whether iron golems will actually spawn here. We can slab as much down as possible to prevent spawning. Hey, there's another one. Now, while we wait for this little youngin to grow up, I'm gonna start working on this. Really just looks quite awful. We're going for a nice new improved ramp on down. There it is, the big time reno. Hey, we got a new dude. No iron golem yet, but we'll stay on the lookout. And for now, I'm just gonna continue to refurbish this little walkway. Well, it's not perfect, but I would say it's certainly a step in the right direction. No golems here, but they are engaged with the beds. Technically, a village is three villagers with beds. And if it's a village, then it, it should be spawning iron golems. So even if I remove the water, I'm still getting nothing. We're gonna try to use the help of this here zombie. We're not going for anything crazy. We're gonna build ourselves out here. This is an incredibly simple sort of alarm system. Should 100% force a golem to spawn. So if it doesn't, we know we're doing something wrong. Okay, so there's the panic. And there is the golem. Hello, sir. Oh my goodness, it's so great to see you. There's some iron, you can put the water back in. And nice, over there, beautiful. And then it's just as simple as grabbing it. We've got some escapees here. 
but it's actually exactly what we're looking for. These guys struggle on the stairs and it's actually amazing. Oh my God, I hate villagers. Everything was so simple. Just get out of here, dude. What are you doing? Oh my God, bro, what are you doing? We'll grab these two beds. These guys are going in here. And there it is. That can continue. Next, we'll grab the rest of our string. It's one more bed. We'll acquire more bread. And with a third bed. Ah, and there's another golem. Well, that is to be expected. We'll put this place to the slab. Now, this does seem to be working. Just not exactly sure how efficient. Okay, thank you for your contribution. Dude, we got so much iron. Guys, we've really just unlocked infinite potential. We need a bookshelf. That's for a lectern. So we're gonna get the ball rolling on a librarian. Oh my god. Third try. Okay, we gotta act quick though. I need wood for emeralds. And now we can lock that trade in. You absolute beautiful lad. Now I would like more bookshelves. So I'm gonna grab a new ax and we're gonna get chopping. Woo! Gotta love deforestation. Now we can do the stick thing. That's gonna result in more bookshelves. Bookshelves go here. And look at that, we're starting to get better levels. And so if we just keep this up, and then 32 emeralds will give us actually four more bookshelves. You can see that this is gonna come together pretty quickly. Already got that big level 16. Now look at this guy. Thinks he can spawn over here in my world? No, sir. We're gonna start setting up more beds. This guy's gonna take the toolsmith profession. And if we just get ourselves a bit more coal and head to the nether once more, we can hit up this nether fortress. Oh wait, sorry, not this nether fortress. No, we want this nether fortress. Reason being is those guys right there. In this soul sand valley, mobs are gonna spawn like crazy. Wait a second, I've never been to this one. Uh, okay, sure. There's like two of these in the exact same area. That's insane. This is what we're here for. Mostly coal and incredible spawns. Oh, oh my God, I just walked over that. Oh my God. So this is only about 600 blocks from spawn. Wasn't planning on it, but look at these spawns. Because this is over lava, the potential spawn rate is insane. So we can start filling this out a little bit. So there, we've got this somewhat filled out. So that was productive in ways that I didn't really expect. We did not get much coal, but we got a wither skeleton skull. I mean, we could still do some trades with this guy. Beautiful. And he'll now buy iron from us. That's gonna be three more bookshelves. Bro, efficiency four. We also now have access to apples means golden apples. Now I'm gonna return to the old XP farm. I'll use myself a wooden sword. Cause once we get a few more bookshelves, we're gonna be able to fully upgrade our gear. Oh, which drops the potion of healing. That's actually sick. All right, level 49 feels pretty good. I do need to peek in here. Reason being is there's a lot of spiders and spiders are gonna give us some very juicy string. Oh my God, look at this. They are still getting clogged, but it's not as big of a deal. Dude, this is insane. Also an underrated way to get string. Now we can come back to this guy and sell off all our iron. One more, that's gonna put us at level 30. Let's go. I mean, we've got some diamonds. But first we're gonna do the gear. This stuff wasn't bought on Amazon. I went out and made it myself. And now I'm gonna make it cracked. You see that right there? I'm not giving up on this pick. Efficiency four, I'm breaking three. We talk to the mans, grab a sugar cane. There's mending, there's an anvil, and there is a very dangerous looking mending pickaxe. We just need a bit of XP. Just gotta feed the XP into the pick. Now, if we wanna get back to swatting spiders, and look at that, old faithful. Grab some more iron. I think I will take some fire protection. Let's see what smite's about. Okay. All right, so we've made some moves for our villagers. These three stay here, but they're not our main guys. They're really just to keep the iron golem spawning. And I want this to be the main villager hall. So we're gonna make a grindstone and a blast furnace. That's gonna give us access to an armorer. This dude is also gonna buy iron. And we need to slap this area over. 
Not sure if this is gonna work. I suppose we could always turn it into another iron farm. But right now, my main focus is to just get guys who will buy iron. Oh, this guy's grown up. We level him up. Also gonna buy iron. Can make more beds. That's looking pretty spicy. Well, I think we'll actually take this guy here too. So now this could be nothing more than a terror den. That gives us iron. So we've got a lot of dudes in here. As soon as they're all grown up, we will do a conversion. But for now, I need to fix this staircase. It's okay. It was a nice thought, but it's just practically terrible because I bumped my head on every single step. All right, so this is what we have. Wondering if it should just be stairs. Hmm. I'm not sure about this either. I really love this giant hole. It keeps us remembering what this originally was. What if the stairs went around it, right? So something like that, and this continues down. Oh man, this is looking so much cooler. It's like a walkway into here, but then we can continue the staircase going down. Wow, even that looks cool. We've changed the walkway going down just a little bit. Like this just looks so much better. Now, I think it's time we turn these dudes into zombies. For that, I'm going to need a pick, fortune two. We'll Take this to the nether. We're here for gold to so make golden apples. I know silk touch would be better, but fortune two is quick and it's pretty solid. Oh, looks like everyone is grown up. And we've got all the apples we need. So while I was waiting for it to get dark, went ahead and enhanced this a little bit. Now it truly is a terror pit. Speaking of terror, listen now, I only need one. There we go. All right, this round of infected is over. That's everyone. And... Done. This is the point in the game where trades get easy. With faster trades, we can get better gear. Better gear makes everything faster, and that's gonna allow us to make some awesome builds. Now, when I say awesome trades, I'm looking at iron. This guy will do one iron for one emerald. So will this guy. And so these trades give us levels and XP for our mending gear. Speaking of mending gear, we can now buy cheap bookshelves break them open and suck out their books and get one emerald mendings. That'll give us full mending gear. You can also get a sword and ax and shovel. So, you know, not bad. Now I think it's time we go full dictator mode. We're going very simple, very easy. So that's a pretty good start. Didn't quite get to everyone tonight, but all the people that have jobs are in. The iron farm is looking good means we can get some crazy deals. Oh no, these guys aren't interacting with their workbench. Remove the bed. Yep, there it is. Beautiful. Now, I'm gonna do some more grinding tonight. Those juicy levels. Dang, look at all this gunpowder. I might just go ahead and make some TNT. What are we gonna do with it? Who knows? You'll just have to stick around. And while you're at it, subscribe. Now as for that grinding session, efficiency four, that sounds good to me. And efficiency four. That's a pretty hot set of tools. Looting three. That's like the last thing we need. That'll do it. And look at that. Next, we just need to add a few things together. And that's it. We're geared up, man. Now, it's time to do hot girl stuff. No, like we're actually just going to a place that's hot. You may not have known this, but I'm actually building a super highway. You can tell it's a super highway because of the way it is. See, you feel this? It's pretty super, but I'm very lazy. So I need to make it slightly better. Feels pretty good to me. So this is the first nether fortress. It's home to exactly two wither skeletons. Neither of which have heads. Well, anymore. Now we come back to here. Getting to the other fortress is a little more complicated. So we definitely want to go down here. Let's see the issue. We can pearl across, but well, I only have three. So sure, that'll do for now. But I think for this next section, it's actually going to make more sense if we just drill a gigantic hole. 250 blocks this way. And this is why we waited till we had efficiency tools. I think it'd be best to just stay above all of this. That way we don't get wrecked by magma cubes. I like this though. I never make anything in the nether. Hey, that was better than I could have ever possibly asked for. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it. Oh, this is different. I don't think I've been to this area yet. Soul Sand Valley. Let's go. Lava below. Dude, this is actually perfect. I think we should bust out this guy. Right, so now all we wanna do is just build as much surface area as we can. Oh my God, dude, this is insane. So this is feeling better. So we've got steps now. I don't know why I'm going in on this so hard. Maybe we're gonna have to go for a six beacon pyramid. But I wanna get down there. Okay, so sure, maybe it's a little much, but it feels good and that's what I care about. Oh, and look at this. 
Nice little spot with tons of dudes. That's a head. <gasps> what? Dude, let's go. Oh my god. Back to back. Whoa. I mean, I'm always glad to see you guys, but that was a little overwhelming. Dude, they're just everywhere. <gasps> no way. What? Are you kidding me? Looting three? What is going on right now? It's like a 5% chance. Dude, this is the best ever. This fortress is amazing. What? We have one at home. That's literally six or two withers. I am so confused right now. Like, I promise this is legit. It's 1.19.2. Basic Minecraft. Dude, these spawns are something else. Also, I gotta say, best part about doing this in a Soul Sand Valley, well, you know, apart from the ridiculously fast spawns, is that blazes spawn way less. Hi there. Oh my god. Okay, that was like a little more realistic. But yeah, I think we're gonna be able to do the six beacon. I literally don't understand. Why am I having the most insane luck of all time? 94 kills. We need one more skull. Let's finish this out. Come on. Let's finish this out right here. Okay, fair enough. Throw me a bone, guys. <laughs> nice. So that makes nine in total. So thank you and goodbye. This is like the best nether I've ever been in. I really do mean that. So day 54, I guess we could call that three days for three withers. Not bad at all. But see now the question begs to be asked, how are we gonna take on a wither? Sure, we have the soul sand and you know what? Potions, not a problem. Now to do this properly, we're gonna need a better bow. That's tough. Oh, we definitely want power four. That's a problem that can certainly be solved. So power four, that is pretty hot. But now I think we're ready to take on some withers. This is gonna be dangerous. We basically have to do it within our chunk. So my thought process is do it way down here. I'm talking way down here. I'm talking bedrock way down here. So yeah, this feels incredibly dangerous. Here we go, regen, strength. We have to go as fast as possible here. If we wait too long, it's literally just gonna destroy our island. That's pretty good. I think we just have to go for it. Come on. Woo! All right, not bad. Now the problem is this is wrecked. We basically have to just fill it in again. There goes our buffs. Okay, round two. Strength, regen. Archer, ready. Okay, we gotta fight. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. This is bad. This is exactly what I was nervous of. Come on, come on. Ooh. Woo! This dude is not making it easy. I'm so nervous as to what would happen if it were to get out. Like, it could just devastate the entire island. I think I just gotta grab a bit more rock. Doesn't take long to mine this, but it would take a while to repair a temple. I left my strength potion upstairs. Well, I mean, if I'm here. Why? Why did I leave that? Anyway, let's do this. Oh, it's doing the thing again. Okay, we're just fighting. We're just fighting. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. This is bad. This is really bad. I need to get up. There it is. There it is. Don't put it. Oh, it's gonna push me. No, no, no. Oh, lava. Oh, oh. Okay, we got it. We are dangerously low. Okay, we made it. That was crazy. That's gonna give us three beacons and 36 blocks. Now this is where things start getting very cool. I feel like finally, we can start doing stuff to this upper layer. So you gotta be thinking, what do we want this temple to look like? Six beacons would be pretty sick. So that's wide open. Now we just need to dig straight down. So this is gonna be our six. I know they say to never dig straight down, so I will do my best. So we've just about filled all the water in. Now we just break this back down. There we go. So yeah, now we just dig down a lot. Up until right now. Because guess what's below us? Oh, well, there it is. Let's not fall into that. I, I like our grinder a lot. Something we've done in a lot of our chunk videos is put the beacon at the bottom of the world. We're sitting at minus 10. Beacons go 50 blocks down. So that would easily go to here. And this, the bottom of our map, that's perfectly minus 60. So it would actually cover it. Cool. So this is going to be our base. These are beacons. Now, just got to fill it in. Four more blocks. 
Well, that's one beacon. Nice. So I can give myself haste, and that'll make me mine a little bit faster. The next up, we've got 20 blocks of emerald. 20 blocks of gold. Oh, it's just enough. Gonna give myself speed. That is a noticeable help. Oh, it looks so good. Oh no, we have a golem problem. How are they spawning here? Well, that is very rude. Fortunately, I prepared for this, and we can use this last three to finish this beacon. Hey. Lastly, I think I'll take resistance. It never hurts to be more safe. We'll spend the night clearing this out. There it is in all its glory. I'm getting sick and tired of these spiders. I think it's about new sort of clock. Look at that bug zapper 3000 and yeah i know spiders are arachnids but it doesn't matter because they're all dead that's incredibly satisfying i'm getting kind of tired of walking how about something that takes us all the way down that's nice and that'll be the triple threat we got smite we got bane we got sharpness everything you want we got it. So I spent a little bit of time continuing to work on our stairs, but now I want to finally start working on the exterior. The first thing we need to do is clean this place up. Just an absolute mess up here. So that's feeling better. Now we got to dig out this sand. I don't know what happened, okay? There was a rogue sandstorm that went through here. We're on top of a giant pillar in the middle of, of the sky, but just go with it. I promise you, it's legit. Oh, I see. We've got a bit of a bit of a sandy section here going right into our house. Patch that up, no problem. Okay, I think that is it for sand. The question is now, what are we gonna do to this place? Like, I want a serious upgrade. So very first thing that we need to do, I know this might sound crazy. I feel like we just need this odor platform it's just so we can even get an idea of where to begin, right? And from here, I'm seeing like, oh, we've got all that Badland stuff right there. Like maybe we wanna go ahead and just break it all. Because honestly, we can use this to make our place look cool. Okay, so that's gonna be all of it. So realistically, if we want this to be sick, well, sicker, I think the first step is gonna be making it bigger. So I think that's a pretty good start. So we're just gonna go around the rest of the base. That's better, but I think we need one more layer. Much better. I actually kind of feel like I'm in the desert. Now, you know what? That's it right there. No, I'm gonna start dismantling one of these. Gotta leave the other ones so I know how it's built. But I feel like the best way to go about doing this is, is, is start with a half side. So there we go. So first and foremost, we will, I don't know, expand this out like instead of three, we could double that to six. Then I feel like we need to raise it up a bit. So that feels bigger and better. See, then you gotta start fixing everything though. So that's, you know, that's a start. Means we also need to expand this. Really just the whole door. Oh God, it's getting so complicated. Okay, so what about that? Feels like it's still lacking a bit. That's pretty cool. But I think we need to then extend this out a bit. Oh, we also have mobs over here now. I definitely forgot about that. Damn, I uh, I like that a lot. So there, that's gonna take it out six. So a regular tower is five across. Let's make our new one seven. This is gonna take a lot more sandstone than I expected. So let's, oh, oh, that's a lot of iron. We'll grab some and sell it off to heal up our pick. Perfect. So now we just gotta mine. So the problem is that <laughs> we just don't have a lot of sandstone left to dig out. Like theoretically, I guess we could go into here. Well, that's uh, a little more. I mean, we've still got a ton left in our chest, but that's pretty much all we've got left. So we'll have to make do. So I think first of all, I'm just gonna start building this up. We can always worry about design later. I think that's about the height we're looking for. That's gonna look really sick. Now, next up, we sadly kinda gotta start tearing this pyramid apart. So this is all gotta go. So that was the old, and this is the new. So now we're coming around the other side here. We gotta break this thing. You can kinda see the scale we're bringing to this. We're gonna start on this side. We gotta build out again. Next, we're just building another tower. So there, that is number two. So now it should be as easy as piecing this together. And now we just need to fix this. This part's kind of weird because like you do have this floor here. I don't think I wanna get rid of it entirely. Hmm, this is quite interesting. <laughs> just wondering if a floor a little higher makes more sense. Like maybe this makes for a better floor. We can clear this out. Yeah, now it feels way more grand. So something like that, I guess? 
And so that is gonna be the pyramid section done. Got this small, but you know, still existent room up here. And I like this so much more. The biggest issue with the temple design is that it's not super pyramid looking. Like so much of it in this section is like super square. And so I like that it resembles a pyramid more now. I think we can do a bit more padding up. And perfect. Feels a little more safe. Now we just gotta deal with these towers. Okay, so that actually looks pretty sick. Yeah, I actually I actually like that quite a bit. I don't know, it feels like a sword or something. Oh, I'm one layer too low. Okay, there we go. So now we just gotta figure out some sort of staircase. So it's not perfect, but I think this is what we're looking for here. This area isn't trying to be anything crazy, so I'm very content with just that. So now we just gotta figure out the top. Remember when I was like, oh, I better not break both so I can remember what it looks like? Yeah, I, uh... I didn't do that. So maybe something like this? Uh, nah. That looks better. I think I like that more. Okay, are you ready? Boom. Looks good from the ground and very cool from afar. Ladies and gentlemen, boom. I think that looks pretty sick. One last idea. Move that. Huh? Yeah, I I'm down with that. Okay, once again, are you ready? Damn. To me, this is like what they should all look like. That big, nice full interior. I love it. So then, what's next? Let's get back to beacons. This has done very well for us. Oh yeah, just a casual 64 blocks. Can't forget the emeralds. We can take the express train down and... That's three. So three is kind of an awkward amount. It does increase the beacon's range, but given the fact that we're on a chunk, well, it's not really that significant. It does give us access to strength, but that's not really all that useful either. Our goal is beacon number four. Get this room cleaned up a little bit, and we're getting pretty close to a triple beacon. Question is, we want six. <laughs> the answer is, uh, yeah, obviously. This might be a little extra. It's like a potion of swiftness. And now we can get there really fast. I am zooming. Oh, what's that? I got stairs? I could put stairs right here? Woo! Look at that. Making it here in record timing. The boys are here. And they got nothing for me. It's all right though, cause I got dudes. Don't mind me, just making more space. I mean, it's like I may as well be doing this as we wait for more guys to spawn. And now we return. Ah! <laughs> Perhaps there is a time and place for those shots. God, this is incredible. Dude's spawning right on top of me. Hey. Hey. That's one. That's two. That's uh, three. So many mobs down here. Also, because I feel like there's gonna be at least one person that asks. With Smite 4 and a crit, one shots do not activate their aggressive behavior. Ready for this? Right? Look, he's right there. <laughs> Getting attacked. The more you know. Hey. It's gonna be four. Five. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, I lost my heads. What I was trying to do is make some stairs. Oh, that's six. Oh my God, dude, these spawns are crazy. This is easily the best setup we've ever had for Wither Skeletons. This is perfection. Oh my God, another head. That makes eight? This is insane. And that makes nine. What? All right, we're out of here. That was really well done. So random side thing we can actually trade our coal for emeralds and i just have way too many bones now yeah, we've got our potions this time with regen 2 better but doesn't last as long wait what where did you come from okay well i'm glad that wasn't a creeper wait but this is all slabbed maybe like here anyway heals more lasts for less and strength too so this is where we did it Okay, that is gonna be patched up. Here we go. Oh, I don't, uh, strength, regen, and we just gotta go for it. Oh no, oh no, it is broken out. Oh, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that. Woo, one down, number two. Oh my God, is it doing this again? It is smart, woo, woo, woo. Oh my god, that one was crazy. <laughs> well, we'll fix up what we can. Here we go. Oh my god. 
He got a chunk of me. And he may get out. We gotta fight hard here. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Just gotta take these hits quickly. Get this done with. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. Heal, please. Oh, oh. That was that was close. That was that was a little too close. We really let that one get out of hand. Dang, man, the Wither Blast is strong. I don't think I've ever been caught by that before. But hey, look at this. It's kind of cool. This next part is gonna be a little bit tricky. All right, we can extend this out. Uh, one second. This. Yeah, there we go. Okay, not finished, but that is a six beacon in 73 days. So just gotta juggle some things around here. Get resistance and jump boost. We sadly can't get regen just yet because this still needs to be four big. Anyway, it's very cool. And I think I'd like the bottom to be emerald. Now in other news, quite a bit of sand, which is gonna make quite a bit of TNT. Whatever will I do with this TNT? Keep watching to find out. Oh, I lied. I have more. Two stacks. Very enticing. Wouldn't want to miss this. While this looks really cool, I had a stupid idea. I don't think this is gonna be permanent. Hear me out. Now, it's gonna be 18 blocks. Ha ha. And, oh my God, I know this is gonna look sick. Oh, it does. It looks so sick. Come on. So cool. I'm getting some pretty crazy ideas here. What if we made another tower here and over here? Take a peek at what we've got. It's not a ton. Not bad for orange terracotta, but we have a bunch of orange. All right, so basically this. Man, I don't know, guys. I think we might have to make this one just a little smaller. So instead of seven by seven, this is six by six. I think I do like this one being a little smaller. There, I also took two orange out of that. Do the same for over here. And so dang. So right, so that's the start, but I just don't know if we have enough blocks. Yeah, we really don't have enough blocks. And we do have some slabs. I think it might look better with just the one on top. Now with more iron, we can break this. I know, this this is so backwards. But let's try this out. Just need to break that. It looks cool, but I hate that that part. Oh, I know what we can do. We'll make it so that it's this back one. That way, it'll look cool from a distance. There we go. Now we just need, <laughs> well, realistically, four more beacons. So we'll grab our speed. So we'll zoom on over, this time even faster. And, well, that was easy. And we can put this last beacon. Oh my God. While it may not be practical, it sure looks awesome. And yeah, that's right. We did kill the wither off screen. That's how much little respect I have for that thing. So maybe we should fix this interior. We'll grab some shroom lights from the nether. I've been thinking something like that in the floors. I think we might even go ahead and put those there. Part of me still feels like this needs something kind of grand. Like it's just an entryway, but still, I think something right here would be sick. Just give it a sec. Next, we're gonna add some blocks here. Okay, so that's a leg, that's a leg, that's a body, but this is kind of backwards. Okay, there we go, right? So you see it's a dude, he's kneeling. I don't know, something like that. It is a little obstructed by the beacon, but I don't know. I think it's a cool addition. Speaking of beacons, we've got 17 more blocks. It means we're not quite there, but if we do a little finagling, we're still not there. <laughs> anyway, we are getting close. You know, maybe we could do two more statues. So here are the platforms, right? And then, uh, <laughs> how about like, sure. So yeah, something like that, I think. Now with this iron, we are very close. In the meantime, I'm going to set up a giant melon farm. Nothing crazy, but melons can be turned into emeralds. And I think we have enough bone meal. That is to get everything grown up. And now we need silk touch. I will take one ax, there's silk touch. And so these melons can be sold for emeralds, which give us blocks, which should speed up this beacon process just a little bit. Speaking of which, that's it. Yeah! So we get haste two, speed two. Oh, 
We'll do regen and resistance. That's hot. I'm so fast. So we have 18 days. I really hate to say this, but I know this temple could look all that much cooler with three more beacons. So here's the plan. We're gonna head back to this nether fortress. We're gonna carve up about 900 wither skeletons. We're gonna head back. Now we need to patch this place up. And now, let's kill some withers. Oh, he's doing the thing. Etc. Etc. And boom. Look at that. Three more beautiful unfinished beacons. Because they may or may not have forgotten the iron. We can also grab melons. And... Yes! And lastly, woo, we're actually almost done with 41 more. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, one very beautiful sex tuple beacon. Add the jump boost, add the strength. There we have it. Now look at this. That's a nice looking pyramid. We could do colors. Red poppy is gonna give us red dye. Dang, I don't have much else. There's blue. I want yellow dye. Fortunately, I think that's it. I feel like blue's not gonna look very good, but maybe with red, just pop it in there. Honestly, I think I love it. Damn. <laughs> As for the blue, like, just because you can do it doesn't mean you should. I don't like that. I think the white with the red that almost looks orange, it's, it's just perfect. I just need to look at it. Oh, so sick. Love the exterior. I honestly even love the interior. Everything below it is so good. Don't think I've forgotten this TNT. There is one big thing I still want to do. Like, we still have so much gunpowder. Unfortunately, we're very out of sand. So that's gonna have to be it. Let's take a trip back to the nether. We're looking to go down. Oh, we have a far way to go. This is very lazy of me. I'm just so gosh dang strong. Grab some pearls. Let's just eat our way over there. We're looking for a nice, simple way down. And so our goal is to make a giant tunnel. Okay, I'm talking something massive. Something that stretches further than my game can render. Oh, hey. Yeah, so if you couldn't tell, I'm making a gigantic path uh, with the goal to get as much netherite as possible. Basically, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna place these TNT. One, two, three, four. Four apart. And, uh, you know, just to do a little test run. Things blow up. It's very nice, except it didn't blow up. Glad I tried that. Uh, we're gonna need to do them closer then. Thinking four. Right, so that takes us all the way, but that's not gonna be enough for me. We're actually gonna do two rows. Oh my god, there's more. And once again, so... Ready? This is gonna get dangerous. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! It's so satisfying! True- Oh! Oh, how are you gonna do that to me? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. The other one didn't go off. We'll go back and get our ancient debris. All right, so that was like seven in total. I'll go ahead and do this side. Woo! Explosions and stuff. Whoa. Cool. That is a weird vein. Oh, that's gonna put us at 14. And on the walk through, that was actually all I saw. So that truly might have been it. All right, we're gonna try one last tunnel. Here's hoping for the best. Hey, well, that's two. I guess technically that was 14 from exploding, but that's probably the fastest I've ever gotten ancient debris. All right, we'll get this cooking up. I know something we can do. We can swap gold for iron and that'll be more than enough. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how do we feel about this gear? Honestly, it's really good. It's been with us through a lot. I think we gotta do it. Woo! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that feels real nice. Now, do we wanna go for tools as well? So first thing we need to do is get a villager with efficiency. Oh, okay, I'm changing my mind. <laughs> Just need a bit of emeralds. 
And so yeah, there is actually a serious reason as to why I want blast protection. Gonna buy one pair of leggings. This guy's gonna become a cleric. We'll level him up with rotten flesh. I'm actually out of lapis. This is quite a process. So that'll give us a pair of blast protection for legs. We'll do the same to these boots. And so now we're very well equipped to handle explosions. Now we can acquire more emeralds. Now we can start hunting for efficiency. Next we can upgrade our tools. Next we're gonna need some shepherds. These dudes will sell us beds. That's such a good deal. Next we can fill these chests up and we'll repeat that process. More beds. So now we can go to the nether. We'll strap on this blast protection armor. Pearl on down. Oh, oh, how did I manage that? I should probably put my good armor on. I wasn't preparing for a fight, so I only have my sharpness sword. We good? Back to this. So that process is we can put on blast protection armor, and then we just do the explodey thing in the nether, and we look for ancient debris. This probably won't be as fast as our other attempts. Hey! Man, this is great. I just like can't die. I'm not even wearing my blast protection. Netherite gear is very broken. Anyway, bro. That puts us at four out of 20. That uh, makes six. And that's our last one. But just like that, I'm back with some red bits. And let's keep it going. Hey! That's gonna make nine. That's gonna make 10. Yes. That makes 11, and that's gonna be it. A less good run. Here's hoping blue yields better. Just one, but we're 60% of the way there. That's gonna be 14. Oh, and that is nothing else. We had such a strong start. Hey, hey. Wait, so we're just four away from reaching our goal. Woo, oh, that's gonna be 19. <gasps> Let's go, Woo! the double, it's gonna take us to 21. Time to just take the long trek out of here one last time. Now, I need to cook these up. Oh, I have enough gold. Next, I'm gonna take this fortune pick. I hope you guys haven't, oh what? Oh, this has been flooded. Still good, okay. Now see what I'm looking for are these diamonds. Remember I said I would mine them when I had fortune and, and, and now I finally do. Don't forget the beacon. Okay, just look at it. Look at it in all its beauty and grace. See these diamonds? That right there is a diamond hoe. That'll give it efficiency four. That'll be efficiency five. Also RIP to the anvil. It's truly served us all game. Make a few netherite ingots. We'll do the shove. The pick, the ax, the hoe. Woo! Yes, my sword. This smite sword has served as well. So let's finish it off with that. And I've got one more thing to do, and that's to get a really cool shot of our pyramid. Let's try that. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon.